All right, folks, welcome to another War of Rights, uh, Eye in the Sky, or Third Person, or whatever it is we're, we're, we're going to call it here. We're on the Bloody Lane, Sunken Lane, same map, and uh, we had a full server, so we just had a, a Nicodemus Hill roll through. We had 350, we're down to 290, but I expect that to recover. Uh, what I noticed in the last round is that on the CSA side, we had some very good very regular officers that tend to serve during the high pop times on the union side i can't say that i recognized all the names and so that may have led to the uh, union defeat but nicodemus is is a tough one but I, I i you know both sides can win anyways enough about last round now to this round while the union is mustering if you're unfamiliar with the map this is one of the maps with a beautiful green beautiful green flag if only i could get the right angle of it and it would stop bye bye. doing stuff but <clears throat> this is a union attacking map this is one where only the defenders of csa have already the already is over there if you recognize that that is the orchard from the piper farm skirmish map and the union very quickly has a few attack paths one is to come over here and try to charge the left and get embedded on the left and then work their way towards the point the other way all right and we haven't missed anything yet is for the union to go through this is the roulette roulette lane orchard i think it's actually the roulette orchard i i, I don't know you go through the corn and then you go down to the right you're pretty much hugging the boundary on that side get into those rocks we see there that tree that fence and then you work your way back to the point the point is in and around the sunken lanes on both sides of that fence comes out into the field you would know it because when you hit t you'd be under it and that is that so we see and i'll usually do this by flags and just assume that flags are moving with the companies so we have the green here the green and one of the federal standards there and we have the other two companies moving this way now what we know that they that neither side knows is that the two CSA companies are here and then the other two are are over there. So uh, we'll see. Probably the best thing for the Union would be to concentrate against those that are, that are dispersed. I don't know if the Union have pushed up any scouts to the ridge. They can come up quite far. Uh, and if they're reporting what the rest of the Union is, or what the Union is doing. All right, and so it looks like the one company with the green flag, well, we'll see, because from the middle, they can cut it either to the right or to the left. So we'll just wait and see what they have in store. If you notice that there is artillery there, it is unusable. Uh, it's out of bounds. And I don't think it appears on any skirmish map. It might on contention and conquest. I don't recall. All right, so the, the first ones to appear were kind of the the last ones to move up. But that is one of these units. I assume that this is part of the IVB. I actually don't know if both regiments that are represented here on the Union side. So 69th, I believe, is part of the IVB. I'm certain that the 8th Ohio isn't. I, uh, so... One of the things you know about the IVB, and I don't know if it was particularly the 69th New York, is that they do have buck and ball, and that that was a conscious decision to use those 1842s. Uh, all right, so we did some light skirmishing, and it looks like now Cornwallis has a company over here. Arthur has another company over there. So I don't know if they're masking what they have or or what. Okay. That company of the 69th New York is pulling back. And the rest of the Union is going to go with a firing line. 
and they're protected by the boundary behind them. CSA can't get over there. They're protected by the boundary over here that nobody can go through. And then if the CSA want to try to roll up on the left, uh, it's hard to get good close range shots. The CS, uh, you know, I should really check. I, I think the CSA also might get 42s as an option, but I just don't know. What I haven't seen yet, oh, and no sooner did I say it than we heard it, was CSA artillery shooting, I believe, at either one guy or a group that had not been there in a while. And, um, yeah, Rambos. All right, we'll take things down at the CSA level. I think the CSA has to be very happy with this. Uh, this is what I would refer to as a kind of cold or cool shootout. Even if there is a ticket bleed and even if it's in relative terms a little unfavorable, when it comes to the total amount of time in the round, the attackers are not plinking enough tickets off the defenders to win before time runs out. They are what? Maybe 10% of the way through battle ready. And they've been going at it for about five minutes. And again, you don't, don't Rambo, folks. Even if the round isn't moving at the pace you want, trust that there is a plan of the officers and that they'll get something rolling when the time is ready. Huh. I mean, it is impressive that this guy has gotten here, but... Yeah. That is a formidable looking line, and you can see now... Part of that line is moving off. I, I noticed that there was this kind of rubber banding on the server. I actually played on Nicodemus in the last round, and... There was quite a bit of rubber banding, and so my system does not seem taxed at all by this, so it must be something else. I'm not sure that this is, I'm not sure what the purpose of this is, so it's hard to say if it's going to work or not, but. We can see that the. Uh, Union here is just running right on past. And now there's more Union coming down. CSA is going to try to knock this down before more Union come in. CSA might get there. It probably depends a little bit on the officers and who has 42s loaded with buck and ball. But it looks like the second Union Company is going to come and sweep up the CSA company that pursued. We'll see. So. What do you mean there's a whole other company? Oh, and so there's actually two Union Companies there. So... Union was able to work its way down into this corner. And I think it's, yeah, it's at an acceptable ticket cost. It's not too bad. And we'll see how the CSA responds. A lot of Union that are running very close. I mean, yeah, you got some CSA in the fence shooting. A lot of other Union a little strung out here. And in this part of the map, the Union is using the boundary that's pretty much all around all around them, kind of to, off to, to the right, just right here. 
That's keeping the CSA from, from pinching them. The CSA can come through the corn. Uh, Artie can hit this. It's got to be careful, though. If it's going to skim that corn, then it's not going to hit friendlies. And I've just found that the natural firing positions for Artie, it's much easier to shoot on the Union left CSA right uh, than, it, than it is over here. So, And we can see the Union... They feel like they've gotten healthy. They've recuperated those casualties they lost on the way in. And they've embedded themselves in a pretty good position. From this clump of rocks, it's not that far to, I would say, the point. That clump of rocks. Shoot that smoke, shoot that smoke, shoot that smoke. And buck and ball on buck and ball is probably gonna favor the side with more tickets. You can see you rightfully got a company that's sitting back and watching the right because what the CSA would do otherwise is they'd come through the corn, hop across the sunken lane. I don't know if that's actually the plan there, but that's what could happen. There's a lot of CSA in there. You can see them moving through at this angle. And so you gotta have a, a blocking force like that one here on the right to do that. So that was well planned for. What we're seeing is something that I've frequently felt is the union on this corner. There just isn't, like there are rocks and a tree and some shade. There's just not a whole lot of cover. So you gotta kinda hide behind whatever lead you can throw and uh, lean on your tickets. And look at that. I... So the union's up about a quarter of a morale stage. And that's a, a good ticket burn rate. Right? If you got to get the defenders too engaged, not sure what Artie doing there, maybe ranging a shot. But if you do before 27 minutes, that's good. And if you have the defenders down on tickets or even on tickets, that's also good for the attacker. So early on, I'd say the advantage is the union. We'll see how the CSA responds. And maybe we'll, we'll head on over to the CSA's perspective. Looks like it's still that one company in the lane. And then three companies here for now. What's nice about corn and a fence is that the corn conceals you and the fence gives you a measure of cover. Uh, but it is not hard cover. All right, and so the CSA looks like they're moving to cut off, or at least this one company is moving to try to cut off. It's only this, oh no, it's three union companies here. It's three union flags at least. And I think the CSA did it. Yeah. It was a sizable company, but they did. Yeah, you, well, and this union flag is down. We'll see if they can recover it, but this union group, this is the downside of going over here is that you can get cut off. CSA can ramp you and uh, put you out. Yeah, you gotta try to support friendlies who are getting those flags up. I think if the CSA pushes, yeah, it's not worth dying out of line and knock a flag down for three seconds. Sometimes you get that tunnel vision and it's just a habit you gotta fight. This is a bad position for the Union. There's nowhere out here you're gonna have cover and they probably don't know what's going on behind them. Eh. Well. If the CSA sees this, they're going to pin them against the corner of the map. And they're going to wipe the Union and probably all those flags. I'm usually wrong. Okay, so two flags are saying, nope, that's not us. And the other two flags are saying, nope, that wasn't a good idea. And we'll see how many they get out. But it looks like for sure they're going to get two out. For the Union, that's good. For the CSA, 
You gotta try to kill as many as you can. Maybe drop several in skirmishing here. Eh, not, not every, okay. Maybe not everybody knows to pick up a flag. And now that last flag is almost at the tail end of that line. So the tickets haven't been completely evened up, but it wasn't too bad. Yeah. It certainly narrowed the gap, and that's good for the defenders, but... The narrower the gap, the less inviting it is to... Uh, try to play for cap recap and I don't know if that was just a shot in the proverbial dark and the, the, the corn I, I wonder if the union knows that they actually could have flags or maybe they're just going to go in and try to play kill for kill and then win on the relative ticket advantage I'm not too sure about that You still have a CSA company. Those are uh, ambitious volleys there. Until those flags get back to those companies, their combat effectiveness is, is limited because it's die and run from spawn. Well, actually, in their case, they'll spawn on flag wherever flag is, but the flag needs to get back to him. But we can see we got three Union flags up here. Real nice looking blue one. Great looking green one. One of the national standards and the other standard is going with that company over there. And I saw a CSA flag moving through. I see a second CSA flag moving through. A third company that's really guarding that CSA left, and I guess they have to. I'm interested to see that the union is moving to meet rather than having those three companies. I thought there was one that was in the lane. Did they leave? But you could have those three companies concentrate and try to wipe that group. But I think they're going to arrive too late to do much over here. And then they may well get focused down by three CSA companies. Yep. So it is just the one CSA group that is way over there. And now that group is going to... Uh, uh, that group may not get its flag out. Those guys who are trying to camp it need to camp it from a distance. CSA is shifting back to close the close range a little bit. They must have 42s or they just realize they have the numbers. They want to make it a hot shootout and finish that company off. This company probably still has a long way to go. We're almost back to a full server here. 20 minutes in. And they got to pull back and get healthy. Now the challenge is, what did the two healthy companies do? They, that is just a fat stack. I mean, it's one company, but it is a considerable company. And it's now moving to the point where it can be supported easily by two additional CSA companies. So I think attacking into that is probably inadvisable. All right, so maybe the union has to reset, but uh, all right, the ticket advantage is still with the union here, and overall numbers dead even. Did the CSA die to too much arty? Um, eh, eleven out of one hundred and sixty-nine is not too much. 
I can't say I've noticed anything that CSA already has done, except overshoot and shoot usually at nothing. So maybe those 11 guys in the line would have helped more. Maybe Gentlemen, not. We're gonna shift left, okay? Press T and follow your star. We're gonna go to that dirt, like that big dirt expanse. Uh, to the left side of that. We're going to the, the roulette lane hill. So the good news here for the Union. They're moving down the road. They're moving down the road. Oh, uh, you see. They're directly right there. Yeah, that green flag's f forward far enough that the CSA can see what's up. I was going to say the good news was that the Union was going to put two companies to the CSA's three. And I thought the Union could put two companies against that one. But. Oh. I, maybe now one of those companies is counter marching. I don't know, trying to confuse the CSA defenders. God, it's not being uh, I don't know, the Union started off strong. I'm not sure what the indecision is. Oh. So now we're gonna do some uh, pop up volleys. The obligatory out of line bugler. Okay, I'm glad Artie uh, proved me wrong. Guessing that second shot probably was aimed over there. But yeah. These guys are what, trying to blend in here in the... Uh, The shade. It looks like something's drawing the CSA over to here. I'm not sure I understand it. Or maybe the Union has successfully confused the CSA as to where they are. Huh. Yep, one union out there, they're in that skirmish formation, that kind of cold shootout. But it's better than nothing. It is truly better than nothing. And the CSA has one more ticket stage where it could try to play cap recap before that option is removed. And it may depend on... That might have killed one or two. But the union has at least two flags there to the CSA's one, but it's got two here who are in close support. There is a third Union flag I I cannot account for unless it's part of this group. Right, we know the Irish one is there. And it's accompanied, I think, by the... What is that? That's the blue one? So it's got to be the two... I'll say federal standards. Oh, okay. There's the other one. A little, a little, a little high. Yep. So if you move down here and kind of use the smoke screen, you can move in here again, get close range, make it hot. We'll try to keep an eye on what's going on on the left. But so far they seem to be standing them off and trying to just tie down those two companies over there. Interesting. You know what? I'm not. I, I just cannot remember if the CSA gets any 42s on this at all. All right. So, what is this group going to do? I was wondering if they would push up here and put. Well, now the two CSA companies are moving. Uh, but I was going to wonder. If they came up here and started shooting at those two companies in the side, do those two companies know, if they are over there, that this is a chance to 2v1 that company? And, okay, there's a 
third union company moving over here. All right, so that option's not on the table. It's got to be more straight up. The CSA is going to try to go places the union can't. In this group, it's very possible that they can get caught out and wiped. The union, if they're going to go in that way, they might end up running through cap. CSA has decided to stand out mostly in the lane there. Okay. All right, so the Union's going to not cap. They just want to go up and make it bloody. They're taking the flag in. And if the CSA wants to trade some tickets to knock that company's flag down, they might be able to do it. And I don't know if this... Union Company knows that there's an opportunity now to 2v1 that CSA group that's stuck in the corner. Let's go, let's go, let's go. This is that final CSA company. This was the fat one that was over there in the corner. Looks like it was Vice Warriors group. And you can see the uh, that one Irish brigade company, the 69th New York's flag, is coming on in. Union stayed healthier over here than I thought they would. Maybe because they're getting a bit of cover from the fence. I don't know if that's the uh, Union company that has the flag. This is very bad if the Union does not react. And not, I don't know why we're rubber banding again here. But this is what can happen. Not the rubber banding, but this is getting cut off. I wonder if the CSA is also going to hop the road or just shoot it out. Looks like they're content to shoot it out. How many flags will it get out? Why would... You don't need to run it out. You ain't there yet. You can still get it out. Possibly. All right. And it might just, might end up just being this Union flag. That one got run out of bounds. It'll, it'll despawn or respawn pretty quickly. I think this one right here is actually in bounds though. So, and then the, Irish Brigade's flag is up as well. So two are up. A third will be up soon. The fourth, I, I think, is just going to be down for a while. Uh, on tickets, the Union's ahead. Uh, if they could keep the pressure on, it would probably be okay, but they can't turn the heat up again soon. CSA might just keep enough tickets to uh, to end the round without going uh, last stand. I think if you're the union, yeah, you just... As long as you're not getting overwhelmed by the CSA shooting, and should be content to take these. But if there are a lot of 42s with buck and ball, maybe switch to round ball. It's about 100 yards. And uh, at 100 yards, not a lot of evidence that Smooth bores are less accurate than rifle muskets. They, they most certainly. Well, how could they now, right? 
But they just shot, so now most of them don't have rounds. That's going to be very serendipitous timing for the CSA. Union's got to pick that flag up and go. Oh, no, they don't. They got friendlies. And they got the blue flag. They got... Actually, that... I thought that was the one that didn't get out, so... I'm not sure if flag despawn timers have increased, or maybe things are just respawning I didn't think was possible. Alright, so now the Union is two flags to one. And that's a lot of 42s. I think. All right. And now the CSA is just about to go break. Oh, about to go breaking. I'm wondering where the rest of the CSA is. I think that's... Three CSA companies over here. Huh. Well, they're gonna they're gonna have to hang out near the point now. Thirteen minutes in breaking. This is very good for the attackers. Listen up, you want to be aiming? Yeah, and I was thinking at a certain point, the Union can probably move out of here. You know you've shot that CSA flag up, and there's only one. And there's just... It's actually just one guy. They now have the opportunity to concentrate four flags against three. Once they get their fourth flag up, way over there. Now the Union can put... Slow and steady pressure on the cap. And now the union has almost a perfectly continuous line up to the corn. Then it wraps around. The CSA are getting a lot of mileage out of that sunken lane. See, what's good from this almost 180 degree concave is that no matter which way the CSA turns, they're giving at least enfilade or flanking fire to some part of the Union line. Yeah, that might be a good idea before that fourth company comes up healthy. Let's watch the charge. Well, if, they, if a bunch of those guys on the back end came up with buck and ball loaded... It ain't too bad. You don't want to take that any further. There's no point in spawning people in here anyways. Officer, yeah, you got to get your... Yeah. I'm... What? What? What are you doing now? Well, friendlies are going to go in. It looks like they're going to go in rubber banding. Or at least they're going to step up. And make it a little bit hotter on the unit. Tickets aren't really a concern for the Union. At the rate they're burning them, they'd probably hit final push about when they would anyways, and the CSA would be in last stand. Fourth flag for the CSA has got to come back online. 
I think this is them. Yeah, it is. They're shooting the Union in the back here, and the Union finally realizes it. And there's now an opportunity to concentrate against that group. If that second company joins them, it should be assured. It's at least going to be bloody. And that's what the Union wants. They should get the flag up. I'm really surprised the Union did that well in that charge. I thought they were clearly outnumbered and took the first good volley, but the Union frequently surprises me. To the upside. That was rough. That was rough. Ah, oh, that was rough too. But it is a, it's a very, very easy shot. So you should be hitting this. Alright, that Union Company is reformed. CSA. I think there's a, one more sizable charge from the Union that should go last stand. And uh, the Union shouldn't go final push. For at least two more charges. So. I do apologize for the rope banding. It doesn't appear to be on my end. My system doesn't care and it's too bad I was gonna do more of these this evening full server good officers and uh, a good two matches here but if it's gonna rubber band I'm not gonna I'm not gonna record those even if it's only a few seconds of each video it doesn't look good The trail I saw went off that way. So the CSA is about to go last stand. A, a weird mechanic, maybe it's a, a hitch, maybe it's working as intended, is that when the defender goes from breaking the last stand, if you look at the tickets right now, they don't actually go all the way to zero. It, it, it'll it go a little bit lower and a little bit lower, but it won't get down to the compass, and it'll actually go last stand when there's still some tickets left. Usually, you, at least when I've seen it, you go all the way through the, the whole stage, and then you go to the next level. But that's not how it works, at least when the defender goes from breaking the last stand. I don't know about attackers going final push. I think it has to go all the way down. Right, so there was a group up here. Yeah. Looks like a hefty volley. see that there's still like 15% that's in that last stand that's highlighted. At least I can. I don't know if it's going to show up on the recording. I'm pretty sure the union here... I don't know if they're quick timing and rubber banding. I appreciate them quick timing for me though. Which apparently was... At least according to Hess, Earl Hess, he... The mention of quick timing in battle, in battle reports was exceedingly rare. That was a thick volley. You 
heard it here first. All right, so they're gonna try to connect the lines, move the range up, should increase the hit rate. And none of those CSA are coming back. In terms of Union worried about final push, they might lose a little bit of time if they win now, but they are far away from final push. I don't know if the CSA, I don't think they saw this company come all the way around here. I think they were keeping their heads down from the other group. And that allowed this fourth company to just come in with the steel chair here. So, yeah, I think, I don't know if the Union's on cap. I think it might be slightly over here, and that's why we haven't seen him pull away. All right, now the Union's capping. This is probably all she wrote. This is a tough map for the CSA. I mean, yeah, you get Artie, and it has some good shots and it has some rough shots, but Artie's just it's in a rough place in the game right now, so. The tickets are definitely on the side of the attackers, and I think the attackers did reasonably well, usually getting their flags out. Trying to keep some sort of pressure on the defenders. This might be the last push from the CSA. Last lives. One Union flag is down over here. Gonna try to recover it. Some CSA are trying to camp it, but you're not on cap and there aren't enough of you to run the all the Union off of it. There's another Union flag down here. I guess people thought we don't need those. That guy's angry at an apparition or something. That's it. <laughs> Already firing to the last. All right, let's check out the uh, casualty count and we'll uh, call it a map.